This is ADST Tool Time with Elise and Olivia. Today we are going to be learning about the handsaw. This one here is a fine tooth blade and it is called a back saw. This one here is called a hand saw and the teeth are very sharp and aggressive like a shark. Both hand saws have their teeth going forwards and backwards, which allows them to saw forwards and backwards. What are the steps I should follow before making my first cut with a handsaw? Number one, gather all the tools and materials that you'll need. You'll need a handsaw, a tape measure, a speed square, a pencil, two clamps, a piece of wood, and a bench hook. Step two, lay out your material. Measure the required length you want to cut with your tape measure and mark your line with the pencil. Next, use the speed square to make a 90 degree straight line. Finally, identify on which side of the line you want to cut. Step three, requires you to use two clamps to secure the wood. What safety rules need to be followed when using a handsaw? Number one, never touch the teeth. Two, always use two hands on the handle when you are cutting. Three, always use two clamps to hold the wood down when you are cutting. Four, when you're finished cutting, make sure you place the handsaw down in a safe place and a safe direction. And make sure your area is neat and tidy. An important safety reminder is that when you're handling any type of tools, always have the sharp or dangerous part facing the floor, away from you or others. Step one, be sure to hold the saw with two hands and center yourself with a stable body position that has one foot in front of the other. Remember to use more than your arms by engaging your core. Step two, begin your initial cut on a slight angle and pull back until you have created a straight grooved line to follow next to your marked pencil line. Step three, requires you to use the full length of the blade, moving back and forth in both directions. Be sure to slow down once you get close to the end of your cup. Step four, has you unclamping the wood and sanding any rough edges to create a smooth finish. Step five, our last step, will have you cleaning up your work area and putting away the tools that were used. All right, Elise, now we're gonna go over what we have learned. How do you keep your eyes safe? By always wearing safety goggles. How should you walk with the handsaw? Down facing the ground with the sharp part facing away from myself and others. How many hands should you use with the handsaw? Definitely two hands. And how many clamps should you use when you're cutting? Two clamps. Then finally, should you ever use any type of tool, including the handsaw, without the teacher's permission or training? No way. I should always follow the safety rules. Elise, are you ready to work? 
Yes, I'm alert, focused, and ready to do an ADSD project. Let's get working. <laughs> 